Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got the United Tag Team Championship on the line. On one side of the ring, the challengers, we have the other guys, Stuart Snodgrass and Keith Mack against the Summit Fight Club, Luca Daniels, and the man that's currently in the ring with Stuart, and that is All Gold Reno Royce. Showing off just a little bit of his amateur wrestling background there, but showing off a little bit too much as Stuart Snodgrass picks the leg, but Brino managing to push him off. Going in very quickly for that waist lock. He's got him down once again. Going in for a pin. One, two, only a two count. Transitions, got the shoulders down. Another two count, but Brino Roy staying on top of Stuart Snodgrass at this time. Making another transition again with that waist lock. And Stuart Snodgrass is in a lot of trouble right here from the start. You can hear the fans there solidly behind Stuart Snodgrass, who's looking to get out of this waist lock predicament. Manages to break the hands of Bruno Royce. And now he's got Bruno with a waist lock of his own. Bruno struggling a little bit, but manages to transition out and right back of the waist lock. And then turns it into a headlock, and he's got Stuart Snodgrass right in the center of the ring, applying a lot of pressure here. Referee checking Stewart to see if he wants to give it up. But Stewart reversing the headlock, turning it into a top wrist lock on to Brino Royce. He's got it in nice and tight. Looks like he could be trying to get Brino Royce down, who is bridging his way, trying to keep himself up. Manages to get himself back into upright position. Goes right back into a headlock. He's got a hold of it tightly. Wait a minute, Stuart Snodgrass. Looks like he was trying to get out of it, but Brino Royce since that he was trying to do something to counter the maneuver. Managed to get a hold of that arm for an arm ringer. But Stuart Snodgrass now reversing it. Both men into the corner there. Referee looking to get a clean break. Oh, and Brino just shoved Stewart, who just returns the favor. Knocking Brino Royce right onto his keister there. And you can tell he did not like that at all. Stewart Snodgrass taking in the cheers from these fans here in Silva. Brino Royce is not about the fans at all. He's about winning and making money and winning championships. From the lockup, Brino Royce getting in that hammer lock. Stuart Snodgrass looking for the leg, and he picks it. Now just turning right into it. Looks like he's got himself a spinning toe hold, maybe going for a figure four, but no, Brino Royce just jabs Stuart right in the face and comes charging in with that knee directly into the abdomen, driving the air out of Stuart Snodgrass. And a quick right hand jab. He's got the arm ringer applied once again, gives it a good twist. Tagging in his tag team partner from Queens, New York. This is Luca Daniels flying off and nailing that double ax hammer directly into the arm of Stuart Snodgrass. Luca goes to whip him off, but wait a minute, a reversal. And now Stuart Snodgrass tagged in his partner, Keith Mack. And it sounds like the crowd here in Silva are making some derogatory remarks in regards to Luca Daniels' hygiene. Keith Mack asking the crowd if they have deodorant or body spray. And Keith just checks Luca Daniels and goes down. Keith Mack's eyes looked a little glazed over. I'm sure Luca Daniels feels insulted by all of this. Wait a minute, looks like someone just threw deodorant to him. And Luca Daniels just chunks it out of the ringside area. Oh, 
And Lucas says that the joke has gone on far too long. But once again, Keith Mack. But it looks like these guys are getting ready for a test of strength here. The way make Keith Mack just moving those hips. And that just sent Luca Daniels face first into the mat. Drove him down really hard. Keith Matthew gets a strong individual, but so is Luca Daniels. It's obvious by his physique that he works out. He may be the smaller man compared to Keith Mack, but he is definitely a strong, tough individual. That's not taking anything away from Keith Mack. It looks like once again they could be going in for another test of strength. Luke is a little hesitant. All right, and there they go. And wait a minute, it looks like Luca Daniels is getting the upper hand on Keith Mack, but manages to get his way back up. Wait a minute. Keith Mack taking a few steps there. Looks like he was getting ready for a dance, but Luca Daniels has got him down again. But wait a minute, Keith Mack is back up. Once again, taking a few steps. And Luca Daniels, he's had enough of the nonsense from Keith Mack. But the fans here, they're absolutely loving it. And what happens here? He's got him twisted around and just drops him directly on the back there. Thank you for the dance lesson, Keith Mack. Wait a minute, just caught Luca Daniels with a big hip toss. Got him one more time. Looks like Keith is setting up for something huge here. He comes charging in, but Luca Daniels moves out of the way. And wait a minute, Stuart Snodgrass is down there with Luca Daniels. And I don't think Luca's paying enough attention to realize who's behind him, but I think he's about to figure it out. Throws a punch, but is blocked and nailed hard by Stuart Snodgrass, who sends Luca Daniels back in the ring to his tag team partner, Keith Mack. Picked him up, scoop slam. Getting the crowd riled up here. He hits the ropes. And a big splash for the pin. One, two, but only a two count. And Luca Daniels manages to get that shoulder up. Keith tagging in. Stuart Snodgrass picks him up for a reverse atomic drop. Stuart Snodgrass now doing the original atomic drop. Claps the hands to the sides of the head, knocking the ears there. Stuart Snodgrass picking him up maybe for a Boston Crab. No. Slingshots him directly into the boot and just trips over Stuart Snodgrass, who's going in. Maybe for a pinfall. One, two. Only a two count. I'm done. I'm done. Luca Daniels not looking so hot right now. Stuart Snodgrass, he's charging up. Runs in. And he nailed him. Hits him with the snapmare and just snaps the neck forward. One, two, once again, only a two count. But Stuart Snodgrass, he is feeling it at this time, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute, just misses a clothesline. Luca Daniels moves out of the way. And it looked like Reno Royce distracted Stewart. We paid for it by Luca Daniels. Yeah. Dropping the fist on him. Now he's just pounding away on Stuart Snodgrass. 
One more forearm shot to the back of the head for good measure. And tagging in is tag team partner Brino Royce. Just drops a big shot right to the back of the shoulders there. Now he's got a hold of that arm. What's he going to do? And just stomps on it. And Keith Mack taking a swipe at Brino, but doesn't even get him. Brino Royce, who's very calm, very cool, very calculating. A methodical professional wrestler if there's ever one here in the state of South Carolina. Look at that smooth transition to a pin, but only a two count. Brino Royce, definitely one of the rising stars here in the Carolinas. Already the holder of the AEWL Heavyweight Championship of American Wrestling League over in Welford, South Carolina. He's doing a number on Stuart Snodgrass at this time. He went from punishing that left arm to going over there to that leg. And now he's focusing on a nerve right there, right at the traps. Stuart Snodgrass, you can see the pain right there on his face as the referee is asking him if he wants to give it up, but he's refusing to say yes. And Brino Royce just taking the boot right there over the face and twisting over the top of the face of Stuart Snodgrass. Hard European uppercut right there in the corner by all gold Brino Royce. The referee's trying to get him away from the ropes, but I think the referee was doing more harm than good to Stuart Snodgrass, as we just saw Luca Daniels just go over there taking a quick cheap shot. And dropping that knee once again on Stewart. Going in for that pinfall. One, two. Wait a minute, Stewart just countered it. One, two. So close. And Brino Royce dropping his body weight over the top. And once again, that smooth transition from Brino Royce tagging in his tag team partner, Luca Daniels. Now he's got Stewart in the headlock. Luca Daniels, the legal man, along with Stewart. But Stewart firing away with some shots right there to the stomach of Luca Daniels. Shoves him off, but rebounds off of that middle rope right there in the corner with that huge back elbow. And once again, only a two count. Nonetheless, a beautiful maneuver from Luca Daniels. Comes charging in. Stuart Snodgrass moves as Luca Daniels' face hits that top turnbuckle. Luca Daniels cutting off the partner, so that way Stewart is not able to get to him and drops that big elbow drop. Scott Stewart's not grass up. But Stewart just nailed him with a big shot and now with a headbutt. Missing a clothesline. Stewart's not grass up in the air on Luca Daniels' shoulders. And just rolls through, tagging in his tag team partner, Brina Royce. Got a hold of that arm. And just dropping the knee across the arm, trying to break the left arm of Stuart Snodgrass. Pinning the shoulders down. But Stuart managing to get that right shoulder up before the three count. You can hear Keith Mack in the background trying to get the fans to chant, let's go Stu, as he's taking this assault from Brino Royce. Jabs, punches, and another European uppercut. And Stewart is doing his best to try to get fired up. Wait a minute, goes between the legs. But once again, showing off that quickness. Brino with a pinfall attempt with Stuart Snodgrass once again kicking out at two. So you can see how tired and exhausted and hurt that Stuart Snodgrass is at this time as Brino Royce getting the man back up. 
twist in the arm. Oh! And just pulling it right over that top rope. Goes to shoot him off, but wait a minute. A reversal right back into the corner. He's got him up. And a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. This could be it. One, two. But somehow, some way, Stuart Snodgrass finding the energy to be able to kick out of that maneuver. Brito making the tag to Luca Daniels. But not before giving a boot right there to Stuart Snodgrass. Wait a minute. Luca just got caught. He's got rolled up. But only a two count comes running in. Punching him right in the face. Puts him in the corner. Throwing a few more punches. But Luca cutting him off. Hitting him with a forearm shot. Irish whip, wait a minute, a reversal. Sends him right back in. And now you got Stuart Snodgrass on top. Feeding off the energy of the fans here in Silva, North Carolina. As he is taking those fists and going right to town. On to Luca Daniels. Definitely feeling the effects of this. Both of these men tired and exhausted. Stuart Snodgrass has got him up, going for the airplane spin. And this is what you would consider a high-risk maneuver. Maybe not coming off of the top rope, but the fact is, is that it affects both parties. Making them dizzy. And Luca's down. But Stewart is still on his feet somehow. But he's in the wrong corner. And so was Luca. Both men charging in for a double clothesline. And both of these men flat on their back as the referee is making a 10 count. Brino encouraging his partner to get over here to the corner to tag him back in. Keith Mack along with the fans here in Silva doing the same for Stewart. All right, we got a tag for Brino and Keith Mack. He is also back in. Charges in with a closed line. Another big one. Taking down both men now with great shots. He's got Brino on the ropes. Goes to whip him off. Got him up and drives him down with a pancake. One, two. Stereo kick out. And Luca Daniels coming in for the save. But Stuart Snodgrass is back in the ring and putting the assault right there on Luca Daniels. He's got him down in the corner, just stomping away. And Keith Mack lowers the straps, waiting for Brino Royce to get up for something big. He comes right in, but wait a minute. Manages to dodge out of it. Nailing hit with that headbutt. Oh, and a back fist to Stuart Snodgrass. And Luca coming back in, taking down Stewart. Go, Brino, watch there. Keith Mack is the legal man. Looks like they're getting ready to set something up. Maybe their tag team maneuver. The peak of perfection, and that's it. They nailed it on Keith Mack. One, two, and three. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners of this tag team contest, and still... The Pro Wrestling Union United Tag Team Champions, Luca Daniels, and the AWL Heavyweight Champion, All Gold, Reno Royce. Valiant effort from the other guys, but once Keith Mack was nailed with that peak of perfection, that was all she wrote. And ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate you once again tuning in to Pro Wrestling Union right here on YouTube for this matchup. We promise to have more professional wrestling matches right here in 2024, so stay tuned and be on the lookout for more great wrestling action right here on PWU on YouTube.